द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह साच कहू सुन ले हो सब जिन प्रेम कियो तिन ही प्र पायो अज असी अज एक ऐसी शख्सियत बारे गल करे जिन्हों ने अपने जीवन में सिर्फ प्रेम की खेड खेडी है असी गल करे सरदार उजागर सिंह जी की जो कि कुछ हफ्तों पहले सानू विछोड़ा देकर अकाल चलाना कर गए अज असी गल करे सिख कम्यूनिटी के कुछ डिफरेंट कम्यूनिटी मैंबरस न जेडे कि उन्होंने क्लोजली एसोसीएटिड रहे पुराने समय तो राइट फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सैवनटीज वेन ही केम हेयर इन टू दिस कंट्री टू द मैनी यंग पीपल दैट ही हैज़ इन्फ्लुएंसड ड्यूरिंग हिज लाइफ असी गल कर रहे मनमोहन सिंह लांबा जी अमरदीप पला जी लिवलीन जी एंड बंदना कौर मलिक जी मनमोहन लांबा जी अमरदीप जी लिवलीन जी बंदना कौर जी थोड़े सारे का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है थैंक यू अस असी अपने व्यूअर्स में यह दसना चाहेंगे कि जड़ा अज असी न्यूयॉर्क ईस्ट कोस्ट में कई कई असी गुरु घर वेखते हैं कई असी यंग अपने बच्चे सिखी स्वरूप देखते हैं डूइंग वेरी वेल प्रोफेसनली और कई जड़े असी ये ईवेंट्स देखते हैं सिक्खी लैके ये हमेशा इदा नहीं सी इस दे बजुर्ग की बड़ी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है बड़ी सैक्रीफाइज हैं बड़ी कालना है अज असी उन सैक्रीफाइज की उन कालना की गल करे और इस दे इस एपटमाइज कर दें वो हैं सरदार उजागर सिंह जी मनमोहन जी मैं सब तो पहला थोड़े तो शुरू कराँगा तुम साडे व्यूअर्स में दसो कि जब नाइनटीन सैवनटीज ए सिविल राइट्स मूवमेंट के बाद जब ज़्यादा सिख कम्यूनिटी इतने आना शुरू हुई है तो इन्हें गुरु घर इतने नहीं सन कि वे उस वेले साडे कम्यूनिटी अपनी सिक्खी जुड़ी सी और की कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रही है सरदार उजागर सिंह जी की उन रिलीजियस प्लेस न उन गुरद्वार डिवलप कर एक्चुअली नाइनटीन सैवनटी फाइव पहला गुरुद्वारा बनया रिचमेंट हिल जी और उस तो पहला पूरे ईस्ट कोस्ट से कोई सिख गुरुद्वारा है ही नहीं सी जी असी लोग घर हर संडे न कोई ना कोई प्रोग्राम हो जाता से फंड कट्ठे करते रहते सन फिर देखिए मैं पॉइंट इन नाइनटीन सैवनटी फाइव रिचमेंट हिल के एक चर्च से विच वॉज गोइंग ऑन सेल सो वो कम्यूनिटी ने खरीद लिया तो बिकॉज इट वॉज ए फस्ट सिख गुरद्वारा इन द होल ईस्ट कोस्ट जी लेकिन संगत सारा कुछ खुद ही करती सी और सारे अपना अपना काम मैनेजमेंट नॉब्लम यह होंगी सी कि कोई पोस्ट लेना नहीं चाहता सी एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू डू बस अपने आप सेवा करते चलो जो जो अपने कर सकते हैं तो इट इज़ ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम आई मैट असी अमेरिकन सिख रिव्यू एक मैगजीन शुरू की सिख रेजमेंट हिल गुरुद्वारे तो जी एंड आई वॉज द एडिटर इन दैट सो उस कनेक्शन में आई मैट सरदार उजागर सिंह जी वन फ्राइडे ईवनिंग इन गुरद्वारा तो उतों सा एसोसीएशन शुरू हुई and then you know we realized uh, what a wonderful person he is ji the mente laga like uh, i have hit a jackpot baad vich pata chalya ke inna de vich six spirit uh, generations to hai e pehle jehde panch pyare san ji uh, pyare the uh, pai dyal singh ji the direct descendant ne acha ji so you can imagine kitni in other which sikh generations to right from jadu sikhism shuru hoya hai si ji the then you know us to baad we both became fellow trustees the ode vich we neither of us were really interested in it but we were asked to 
be in it so we accepted the seva ji 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 oh de vich vi sada basically zyada argument iya hunde san ke jehda sikh constitution tusi banaoge is gurudware de da just make sure ke sikhi swaroop nu puri tarike nal ode ch nu manta deyo sade management de bande trustees de bande they all should be kakaran de puri rakha karde ne ji and we were interested also ke jehda budget ne inu tusi bilkul transparent rakho har minute display karo sangat should know ki chhadawa ho raha hai kithe ja raha hai paisa and so on so those were really our uh, basic things ji 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 and then we were saying uh, term, term limits hone chahiye the ne whether it is trustees or uh, uh, management president sevadar uh, it should not be ke sat saal the term limit hai trustee the or they can go on for three more times ਤੇ ਇਹ ਤੇ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਉਮਰ ਉਹ ਇੰਟਰਸਟੀ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਫਿਰ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਦੋਸ ਵਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਵਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿਡ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਰ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਉਜਾਗਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੈਂਪ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੇ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈਂਡ to my recollection i don't think we had uh, sick camps in those days anywhere at least not on east coast ji e badi mehnat karde sane de vaste months before the camp was to start he used to call the people ke please apne bachiyan nu enroll karo is cheez de vich and uh, you know oh then all we started i think in uh, uptown new york uh, maybe livlin will tell me or in pennsylvania also ji 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 assi assi bade acche acche ha ji manmohan manmohan ji i i believe a jedi uh, you know these these uh, young people that we see on screen a sare un camps which un nikle hue hain aur bahut i have seen ki jede young people ithe hage uh, you know jo sikhi swaroop vich han sikhi uh, spirit uh, rakhde han doing very well in their professions and uh, the the biggest thing which i see always uh, is is they are being very comfortable in their skin apne sikhi the identity nal vi aur apni american identity nal vi uh, assi livlin ji ek bahut bada influence uh, assi ithe de youth the jo uh, ithe who have been brought up in this society unna par dekhde ha in camps da i believe uh, the camp da naam the camp chardi kala si ga jis de naal bade shuru tu uh, tode father saab sardar ujagar singh ji jude hoyen tusi sanu in camp si thodi history bare kuch dass sakde ho sure sure so it actually started back in 1976 with the uh, gurmat camps with dr balwan singh and dr sani in lewisburg pennsylvania ji there were weekend gurmat camps and in 1977 in in the march gurmat camp um we came together and you know the suggestion was put up for doing a youth camp um that summer so the original director is dr balwant singh dr sani started a camp in 77 so about 15 of us took a bus from new york port authority to pittsburgh pennsylvania um where we joined 35 37 other kids from across the east coast and there was a two week camp and uh that was the start of the camp movement that continues till today you know going on and um the nice thing is what we've seen is people who are attending camp they're bringing their kids to camp as well so that's just a testament to what the camp is offering and what the camp what they are offering to the camp and vice versa uh, but basically in 77 the first camp happened and then in 78 uh, pitaji joined Uh, Dr. Bolwan Singh because Dr. Sani had to move off on other things so dad joined in 78 and he was running the camp um along with Dr. Bolwan Singh for many many years lovely ji totally totally in in camp thi jankare se lange ek choti ji break de baad tusi vekhte raho the way forward the way forward is toda fir to swagat hai main toda host Harjot Singh aaj assi gal kar rahe ha Sardar Ujagar Singh ji di 
ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੇ ਜਾਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਲਿਵਲੀਨ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੈਂਪ ਚੜਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਨਫਲੂਐਂਸ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਯੂਥ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੂ ਬੋਰਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਰੇਜ਼ਡ ਹੇਅਰ ਲਿਵਲੀਨ ਜੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੇ ਜਾਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕੈਂਪ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਈ ਕਈ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟੀਜ਼ ਆਈ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਵਾਕ ਅਸ ਥਰੂ ਥੋੜਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਚ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟੀਜ਼ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਐਸ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੈਂਪ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ 13 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਥੈਟ ਕੈਂਪ ਡਿਡ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਵਾਸ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਅਸ ਥੈਟ ਸੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਡ ਇਨ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਅ ਸਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ that we couldn't get from gudwara or khalsa school or any place like that but that concept of that feeling of inner pride is something that the camp was really providing and besides it provided a network of friends um, so we had friends and we still have friends today from virginia and pittsburgh that we never would have met if not for camp but that sense of social networking and strength was a phenomenal aspect um, of camp and you know since it started in 1977 we've probably had total attendees of about 10,000 people recurring um and nowadays in camp we get about you know 250 kids plus 50 staff and so it's a it's a large size camp and um you know it's all a community effort and there's no one person that can do this it's i know i know you hear dad's name a lot but the reality is um it was my mom that was actually the fire behind dad um ji <laughs> dad was a typical delhi i sick right um Jee. it was mom that really gave that inspiration to his grace ji hanji gobind kaur she was the actual drive the passion um the push for camp um, and you know that's important to recognize because the strength of the core the strength of the women in our life is mm-hmm. something that's very important for us in our sikhi to recognize and to understand that it's going to take us forward and that was something dad stood for and you know we want to do at the camps as well ji 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 Bandana ji have you been part of those camps as well? Han ji yes so I I first started going to this camp at Bikala when I was about 6 years old it was about almost over 30 years ago when I started going um at that time we were talking about Richmond Hill Gurdwara it was the library in Richmond Hill Gurdwara was the only place where we had to learn about Sikhi and what the camp did for youth our age was actually provide a place for transferring the knowledge to the next generation in a way where we could hear about our Sikh heroes our ancestors and actually understand who they were uh from our elders so that that was a huge part of our our childhood and and really our our growing up in this area ji 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 amardeep ji uh assi sanwe suno nu milda hai ki you know uh, jede ithe the youth which or leadership or develop karna you know you are an example of that uh, along with your brother uh us de vich un camps da bada role reha hai sanu tusi dassoge de bare kuch yes the think to imagine it. can you hear me uh, yes yes we can great for me uh, just imagine this scenario because this was my my life being born and raised here i don't see anyone uh in, in my nice cool or during my normal daytime activities look at it Uh, I, I don't have any uh, tears. I faced growing up a lot of people looking at me like there was something wrong with me. Why does he look this way? Why does he look so different? Mm-hmm. And that was what life was like uh, growing up in the United States for me uh, in the 70s and 80s. But there was one place, one place for two weeks where I was totally accepted and made comfortable. And that was that sick camp. and it wasn't just that i was made comfortable mm-hmm. i had an opportunity to get up in the morning sit in my punj banya the part then sit uh, uh it, then we would learn kirtan we would learn about gurmat then we play sports and then at night we would do uh, we would do uh, first rehras 
and then eat dinner together, have discussions about Sikki, and then at night do Kirtan Suela. So for those two precious weeks, unlike a Gurdwara experience, I had an opportunity to experience the sick way of life, the mm. sick way of life. Mm. And so it gave me that option to understand, well, why do my parents look the way they do? What is motivating them? What is inspiring them? What do they see in this way of life? And then I had an opportunity to decide for myself whether that was the life for me. And I want to say this, so many of us, because of that camp, turned out stronger and prouder uh, uh, about who we were. And I want to say just one more thing. I have so much to say about this camp. Gee. But um, uh, Sardar Rojagar Singh uh, uh, was exceptionally spirited uh, in this camp. The man would, uh, when we sung Deva Mohe and we say our jakaras would get up on his t- tippy toes to say the jakara. Gee. And I will say this I would come at that camp and I'd have so much Jardigla and spirit that when I'd be walking in high school or I'd be walking um, in my college campus, I'd be quietly saying in my head, De Shiva Barmohe, and I would be in my mind. In, that man had and so many of who are confident and proud and are the best with life are ji we're having some uh, issues with your audio but we totally hear uh, you know, we... I, I'm sorry I, I think uh, there, there's some uh, issues with the audio here Manmohan ji I would like to ask you today this situation is as if we are seeing ourselves as if we are comfortable as if we are joining the army as if we are joining the police in this way I can imagine that when we have a new you know, six group which bande the ayan, so they must have had a lot of difficulties. Uh, we hear stories that first bande said the engineering department which gaya the, he was he was challenged. He was told to cut off his hair. A sari jedi challenges and ina nu sadi is generation ne face kita they fought it or uza result is a much better way of living the way we we you know we have inherited today sanu to see ujagar singh ji de in kuch uh, aspects de which jinna de unna di involvement rahi hai us de bare kuch dass sakde ho basically i know of some sikh families ji who actually got their children's hair cut ji just as they came in Gee. And because of this camp Chardi Club, as the children realized, you know, what their religion is all about, mm-hmm. they forced their parents to, Gee. you know, uh, that they want to get back into Sikhis group. Uh, there's one family I, I can know. Ju- and just, uh, okay. It was just an amazing experience. Yeah. we did a elders no you know, professionals know Jovi problems on this son. We used to uh, the background we social work this same and then you know Jovi legal actions was the son we used to take G. and go through the human rights commissions, uh, governor's office, whatever to uh, get the problems redressed. G. 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 So it was really just an amazing experience. Gee, gee, gee. And uh, if you want to know what happened in 1984, gee. we were all very disturbed. And, uh, you know, we had a really big convention at Madison Square Garden gee. in 1984, the uh, attack to Bad. In other words, we had a big deal with the Yogdan. Every evening we used to meet up in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. The, you know, 
इफ यू नीडेड सम इक्विपमेंट ओके वी नीड टू थाउजेंड डॉलर चलो पांच पांच सौ डॉलर दो एंड जस्ट गेट इट एंड कीप गोइंग एंड मीटिंग वॉज सो सक्सेसफुल इट वॉज इंटरनेशनली फ्रॉम जापान फ्रॉम सिंगापुर फ्रॉम यूरोप यूएस कैनेडा यूके ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू नेम इट द पीपल इन देयर एंड वेंट ऑन फॉर गुड एटीन आवर्स फ्रॉम सिक्स ए एम टू सम लाइक टेन पी एम उतों वर्ल्ड सिख ऑर्गनाइजेशन की स्थापना हुई है सो भी वॉज ए वेरी कमिटेड कंट्रीब्यूटर यू नो सो हिज अचीवमेंट्स आर जस्ट अमेजिंग मनमोहन जी असी इस गल बारे गल जारी रखा एक छोटी जी ब्रेक के बाद वेखते रहो दुबई फॉरवर्ड दुबई फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा फिर तो स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह अज अं गल कर रहे हैं एक बड़े ही प्रेम वाले जीवन सरदार उजागर सिंह जी की कई गैसट अच्छा को श्रजांजलि देने वास्ते स्टूडियो में आ पाए हैं जिन्हें अं स्प कनैक्ट कर पाए हैं कई होर ऐसे व्यक्ति जो उन्होंने बड़ी क्लोजली एसोसीएटिड रहे जो कि अज साढ़े न इतने जुड़ नहीं पाए बट उन्होंने अपने कुछ मैसेजिज भीडियो के राही भेजे असी वो कुछ मैसेजिज हम वेखा वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहगुरु जी की फतेह सरदार उजागर सिंह वॉज अ पायनियर अ ट्रेल ब्लेजर अ लीडर अ टीचर ही वॉज एन आई कॉन अ रोल मॉडल ही वॉज फियरलेस ऑनरेबल अ मैन ऑफ ग्रेट इंटेग्रिटी अ मैन ऑफ डिग्निटी डिवेनिटी एंड ग्रेस वाल अदर्स टॉक He acted. He acted on behalf of Sikh rights. In the early to mid 70s and throughout the coming decades, he was on the forefront of the fight for Sikh recognition and rights. In Sikh education, he founded and ran one of the most long-standing and successful youth camp for decades. He touched the lives of thousands of our young Sikh men and women. He educated our children. He gave them the tools, the knowledge, and the understanding of the Sikh way of life. He enabled thousands of Sikh men and women to maintain their identity and form in a homogeneous America. He infused in our youth the spirit of Guru Gobind Singh and gave them the tools they needed to stand as Sikhs in this country. A true modern-day Sikh warrior. who did battle against misunderstanding ignorance bigotry and hatred he stood for righteousness he stood for the sikh way of life in his adopted homeland of america he was a light for all sikhs to follow he was an inspiration a man of honor a man of commitment he was a great sikh he was a great man He was my friend, and most of all, he was my brother. He will be missed. Why did you call call so? Why did you keep a day? Why did you call call so? Why did you keep a day? My name is Sandeep Singh, and um, I'm a I'm not sure what to call myself, but I'm like a surrogate son of uh, Ujjagar Singh and Gobind Kaur. Um, Uncle Ujjagar Singh, or Daddy Ji, as most of us uh, called him, um, it's hard to think of him without uh, Gobind Dati or Ami Ji, um, as we knew her. Um, the two of them together were a force within Sikhi. Um, you know, as far as my own personal story, I wouldn't be here uh, in the context that I am. if it wasn't for their push and their desire to teach sikhi to the kids um uh, very few people were you know targeting the youth as the source of our strength in our community but they recognized this way early on more so than most i mean you know they started a process a camp that to this day 40 plus years later still endures 
the winds of time. I mean, you know, that in and of itself should tell you how strong and, and amazing uh, their efforts were. Uh, it caught on like wildfire and people started to come in a way to connect their kids to Sikhi like, like no other process really has. Uh, very difficult for Khalsa school, very difficult for weekends together, very difficult for any other means of connecting kids together to see one another and how they live their Sikhi. You know, I as a young child gained strength from watching others, you know, live their life and be proud of who they were. Um, so as a result of their efforts, um, I wouldn't be here today in the, in the way that I am. So we, we miss uh, uh, Ujagar uncle who recently passed and, uh, and his, his legacy lives on. Um, and if we can only measure up to a fraction of what he has accomplished on this earth, then we can all state, state that we've succeeded. So with that, Wahidu Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahidu Ji Ki Fateh. Ujjagar Singh Uncle was an absolute one of a kind, a really special person and a true Gursikh. He lived his life as a working person. He was a family man, a devoted husband and father, but he also lived his Sikhi fully, serving not only the Khalsa Pant, but the world around him, hoping to make it a better, more fair place for all. He inspired those around him, youth and adults alike, to embrace Sikhi and the Khalsa way, to want to be part of something bigger than ourselves. And at the core, it was clear that it was his love of the Guru that guided and sustained him in his work. What I'm remembering most about Uncle is his leadership. We often speak about the qualities of the modern leader, the importance we now see of having empathy and the ability to practice mindfulness. While well, Uncle was ahead of his time, these were not new ideas to him. There was never a time when I sat with Uncle, and there were many times that this happened, where he was not fully present, where he was not fully listening to me, and more important, fully hearing me. He saw people, he really saw them, and he recognized their worth and truly wished that each person would reach their potential. He knew and he recognized that by uplifting others, he was in no way diminished. And in fact, we were all uplifted together. That is true leadership. He lived that spiritual life described by our gurus, where he feared no one, but he also never instilled fear in others. It was his connection to Sikhi and Gurbani that allowed him to intuitively practice these Gurmat principles throughout his life. And he is a true example to us all. I think it's fair to say that his legacy lives on not only with his children, grandchildren and great grandchildren, but in all of us, whose lives he touched. And I believe, just as I know he did, that we will carry on his legacy. And if we ever feel that we might waver, or if we ever feel insecure, I know he would want to reassure us. And he would say, you can do it, Bache, you can do it. With the Guru's grace, you can do anything. Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Ki Fateh. ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਾਰ ਦੀ ਕਮਾਈ ਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਮੁੱਲ ਯਾਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਗਰ ਅੰਕਰ ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਾਰ ਦਾ ਕਮਾਈ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਮੁੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੈਂਪ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਦੇ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਮੁੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਮੁੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਤੀ ਤਰੱਕੀ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤਰੱਕੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੱਦ ਤੱਕ ਐਸੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਹੋਰ ਕੈਂਪ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਬਸ ਉਜਾਗਰ ਅੰਕਲ ਦੀ ਯਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਜਾਗਰ ਅੰਕਲ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਦੇ ਫਾਊਂਡਰਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ 1977 ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਸੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਲੀ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਉਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਉਸ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਤੋਂ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਲਈਏ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੀਏ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ 
ਸਾਡੇ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਗਲੀ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਪੰਥ ਕੌਮ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਸੋ ਮੇਰੀ ਬਸ ਇਹੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਉਜਾਗ ਸਿੰਘ ਅੰਕੋ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਡੈਫੀਨੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੀ ਕੈਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਬੀ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਵਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਵੁਡ ਬੀ a legend he was a legendary man and who did a legendary things he created an environment for us as six growing up that t- taught us about bani and gurmukhi but also taught us about chardi kala and that's exactly what he he was he was the essence of chardi kala going up to little kids t- telling them to be louder telling them to have the spirit of the guru going up to us telling us that we had to be selfless that we had to you know self like you know serve the community exactly what he did he served the community and he continues to do so you know through his camp and through the you know the charitable that he instilled in us as you know the future generation and you know growing up i remember i would look forward to going to his camp you know even if it was like a week out of the year um it was just something that defined me as a sick and defines six going forward generation after generation and that's something only a legend can do and uh, we will miss you jagar uncle thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and everything that you've done for our community vaiguji ka khalsa vaiguji ki fatah vaiguji ka khalsa vaiguji ki fatah on behalf of jess punjabi and her jot singh i was asked to say a few words about sudari jagar singh Sudari Jagar Singh, a giant in the Sikh American and Punjabi American community, passed away a few weeks ago. Sudari Jagar Singh's impact on our community is immeasurable. Uncle Ji took the most difficult and seemingly impossible, the most important task of any elder to inspire their youth. Uncle Ji and his wife, Sudarni Gobind Kaur Ji, spearheaded the Sikh youth movement in the 1970s. They were progressive, open-minded, visionary, and loving to the core. They promoted a radical concept of sleepover Sikh camps for boys and girls. Though some jaws dropped, they forged ahead. And throughout the decades, literally tens of thousands of young Khors and Singhs have gone to Camp Jordi Kala. We learn Punjabi, history, kirtan, and most important, how to be comfortable in our shoes. Not only did we learn to be comfortable, we learned to be unshakable. Uncle Ji's overarching premise was simple yet profound. That we can hold on to our Sikh traditions and be 100% full-blooded proud Americans. He was right. On a personal note, Sadai Jagar Singh and Sadani Gobindkar were dear family friends. to my parents Sardar Hazara Singh and late Sardar Nijo Ginder Gaur Rator a time on a friendship that goes back close to 50 years with a family that set the tone for the rest of us their three children Pavdeep Singh Livleen Singh and the late Jasleen Gaur were role models to all of us and the gold standard we aim to emulate i asked my brother Gurinder to reflect on your jagar uncle and he simply said He was a great human being. Today Sonia and I are raising our children along with Uncle Ji's great grandchildren. What an honor. Vaiguji ka khalsa, Vaiguji ki fateh. Tonu milde ha ek choti ji break de baad. Tusi vekh de ro The Way Forward. The Way Forward is tada fir tu swagat hai. Livleen ji assi kinna kinna expression of prem dekhde ha un unna vaste sare across generations. ਐਂਡ ਇੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹਿਸ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਰਾਈਟੀਅਸਨੈਸ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੰਪਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਵੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਕਿ ਜਦ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਕੁਝ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ देयर ਵਾਸ ਸਮ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਡਿਸਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਐਟ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਲਿਤਾ ਸੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੋਗੇ ਉਸ ਬਾਰੇ sure um basically at one point uh, richmond hill godara which was a primary godara for all of us um at one point they were not allowing american six to really participate and uh, so what happened was our family um mummy and uh, dad we 
we took support of the side of American Six because they were doing nothing wrong. Um, and so that was important. And it's really important because the success of camps came because of American Six, because we as campers, we as kids could relate to what American Six were teaching us, uh, sometimes better than what the old Indian style of teaching. So the support of American Six and what they've done for the community has actually gone unnoticed uh, for many, many years. And um, that's one of the important things that our parents did. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. eh, ahi, asi एक एक प्रेम दी खेड़ खेड़ी है बंदना जी यू नो वी हेड दैट ही हैड यू नो अ स्पेशल प्लेस फॉर फॉर द गर्ल चाइल्ड विमेन नो हमेशा वो बड़ा ज़्यादा प्रमोट कर देते सिगे सुशील प्लीज सानू इस बारे थोड़ा दसोगे हाँ जी बिल्कुल सो आई थिंक विथ आउट अ डाउट एनीवन वुड से दैट सरदार उजागर सिंह जी � there was no difference between his immediate children and every every youth out there. Mm -hmm. And especially with the gods in the community, he raised them, he elevated to the status of any anyone else out there. So within us, he saw he saw Guru Gobind Singhji, he saw uh Jashad Zade, he'd see the spirit of Naif Bangoji, he'd see every brave goal of the past within us and made sure that we know it. Uh, one thing I remember is that there, there's specifically one time um, when many of our, many of, I'm sorry, many of the guards were actually wearing the stars for the very first time in their life, taking on the surup of uh, a gursik. And Sadaru Jagar Singh Ji had each of one of us stand up in front of in front of the crowd and say, "These guards here are braver, braver than anyone else you'd imagine." And he made sure that we were recognized and seen for the courage that we had. Mm -hmm. जी 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 अमरदीप जी वी बेस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ व्हाट यू सेड अर्लियर यू नो आई अल्लर्ज यू टू रिपीट दैट एंड टेल अस व्हाट वुड बी योर कंक्लूडिंग इमाक्स आई थिंक देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट आई वांट टू से अबाउट सरलाव जागर सिंह एंड एंड द कैंप ही एंड लेड विथ मेनी अदर्स फर्स्ट वाज दैट what I remember about him the most Gee. when I think of him in my mind uh, is this. When we'd sing the salute to Nishan Saab in the morning mm -hmm. and we'd say Jakaras, he wouldn't just raise his fist in the air. He would get up on his tippy toes Gee. and raise his fist in the air. Gee. That's how much spirit that elderly man had, that he would get up on his tippy toes. And so when I would leave the sick camp mm -hmm. and I was not around any six. I would be walking around in high school, in my college campus, and I'd be singing in my head. This is true. De Shiva Bar And when I'd, when I'd say a jagar in my head, I would think of Uncle G and his tippy toes. Mm -hmm. It was, gave me strength. And I want to say this, uh, critical community institutions, critical achievements for our um, community, I don't think would have happened without that camp. Yeah, you know, after 9/11, we formed an organization called the Sikh Coalition. Mm -hmm. When that organization was being formed, which is now a community institution, the first people who signed up, who formed the organization, who provided it funding, who provided support, legal support, financial support, and other support, all came from that camp. Yeah. It, it was really a camp, Chardikala, whether it was formally connected or not, project. Mm. The other thing I want to say is, you know. Uh, uh, people we've seen in the community who have kept their Sikhi Sarup and are guided by their Sikhi um, uh, where I live, uh, mm -hmm. in the town I live, the mayor of um, Hoboken, New Jersey, my younger brother, Ravi, uh, the attorney general of New Jersey, Gurbir Singh Garewal. The kind of spirit that came out of that camp and pride in their identity was sort of the foundation upon which they became adults Gee. who were sick. And proud to be sick. So you know, for that spirit that Sardar Jagar Singh had, which created that camp, which impacted, as Lavlin Virji said, more than ten thousand campers, we'll all forever be grateful. My children attend that camp. I met my wife at that camp. Uh, 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 it is a community institution, yeah. and I'm so grateful that I had even an opportunity to be around him and feel his energy and, and, and his family should know and others should know that that energy lives in us today and will carry on. Gee, gee, gee. Very, very well said. Uh, Manmohan ji. 
ਮਨਮੋਹਨ ਜੀ ਸਮਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਕੀ ਕਲੋਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਰਿਮਾਰਕਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੋਗੇ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਮਹਾਨ ਸ਼ਖਸੀਅਤ ਬਾਰੇ ਯੂ نو ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਕੈਨ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਯੈਸ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਜ਼ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਯੈਸ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਦਾਰੂ ਜਾਗਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਂਪਲ ਇਨ ਟੈਸਟਮਨੀ ਟੂ ਥੈਟ ਜੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਹੈਂਡਡਲੀ ਹੀ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ that goes on to this day ji and has uh, really changed lives for generations ji 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 so uh asi asi apne uh, views nu e gal uh, dobara emphasize karna chahange ki jehdi uh, you know jis jis uh, ek phal da hoya phal jehda asi uh, sikhi da dekhde ha uh, new york vich east coast vich uh, uh, all around the country Uh, you know and around uh, a lot of western world is the piche sade buzurgan di as we said in the beginning una de efforts hai ge una de sacrifice hai ge bahut kalna hai ge sardar ujagar singh ji una de vaste jehda a frame hai tusi sari across the generations dekhya una di jehdi a contribution hai that is second to none aur assi us vaste una da bahut bahut shukriya karde ha ਔਰ ਤਹਿ ਦਿਲ ਤੋਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਰਧਾਂਜਲੀ ਭੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਸੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਤੇ ਅਪੀਅਰ ਹੋਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮਨਮੋਹਨ ਲਾਂਬਾ ਜੀ ਅਮਰਦੀਪ ਜੀ ਬੰਦਨਾ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਲਿਵਲੀਨ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਦੁਬਈ ਤੋਂ